Montmartre, winding hilly streets, views of Paris, artists, parties, the history of the working classes and their uprisings, and being crushed. Until 1860, it was outside of the Paris city limits and covered with vineyards and windmills. Paris was medieval, with narrow streets. You could shake hands across the streets at the third floor. No lights, no sewers. It was renovated by Haussmann in the 1860s, destroying and rebuilding half of the city, but not Montmartre. In Paris, there were high taxes on bars, not Montmartre. Rent was cheap, artists came, posh people came to slum, princes, prostitutes, thugs, dancing together. You would have come here in 1905, you would have met maybe the, greater, the greatest names of art in those times. You would have met Henri Matisse, for example, used to be this place many times. Modigliani, the Italian painter, used to work here. But as well, you would have met maybe the previous generations, the beginning of the 1900s, but the Impressionists, 1860, 1870s, used to come here as well as old wise guys giving advice to this new generation of artists. You would have met Degas, you would have met Monet. The Moulin Rouge, Red Windmill, opened in 1889. It was a big hit, famous for the scandalous can-can dance, or coin-coin. At this time, it was forbidden to show ankles. The dance was provocative, sensual, offensive. Here we find among the first advertisements, posters by Toulouse-Lautrec. The cost to enter today, 160 euro. Because so until the end of his life, as many other artists, he used to go in many brothels to paint the girls, okay? To, to, to take them as models. Those girls are prostitutes. You have to understand that Montmartre is the capital of art, the capital of prostitution, I will. This place, I repeat it again and again, sorry, used to be poor, a place for outcasts. And you could find here see broke artists and prostitutes. They used to live among each other. This is the reason why. Uh, as absent, prostitution is very present in the paintings of the Impressionist. So those girls are prostitutes, and if you take a closer look to their faces, you will see that the one on the middle are beautiful and, uh, and, and pink and perfect, and the one on the side are dark and twisted with strange colors. Picasso is here talking to you about the STDs. As a more global symbol of all the difficulties those poor girls used to go through during their very short lives. Hang on, we gotta go back to absinthe for a minute. You have to put the ice in the top, it drops on the sugar on the spoon, and then it pulls in the absinthe, making a milky substance. I might have got that wrong. Anyway, it can be more than 75% alcohol. It's carved into the DNA on this hill. All the painters were addicted, because all the vineyards in France died in 1901 from a grape plague. Beer wasn't popular, so absinthe took over. The alcohol was not regulated. Sometimes it was mixed with methanol, and if you drank a lot, it caused hallucinations and brain injuries. It was banned in 1914. It only came back in the 2000s. Nickname, the Green Fairy. For you, funny thing, with your eyes, you might see here the innocence, the, an innocent scenery of the everyday life. It's not really. From the people from the 1870s, if you were a bourgeois from the center of the city, you would first see that there are no couples in these paintings. But single people hooking with each other. Not that scandal, scandalous for us. For the very conservative society of the 1870s, it is pretty shocking. Montmartre was famous until recently for being a place for Bobo. Have you ever heard of this concept? Yeah. It's, it comes from the US at the beginning, but it, then it was adopted by friends. Bohemian bourgeois. The Bohemian bourgeois. It means very basically that those people are wealthy, but they vote for the left wing of the political spectrum. You know, this is a, uh, you know, voting for communism, hoping of course he will never take over. <laughs> They're, they're not stupid, but uh, so this is what the Montmartre had the Wait a minute, this is important. In 1875, artist André Gilles painted the sign for this cabaret. It was a picture of a rabbit jumping out of a saucepan. Residents began calling their neighborhood nightclub Le Lapin à Gilles, Gilles Rabbit, 
but over time it evolved into Cabaret au Lapin Asile, the nimble rabbit cabaret. Okay. <laughs>